But above all, I will never forget who this victory truly belongs to. It belongs to you. It belongs to you. I was never the likeliest candidate for this office. We didn't start with much money or many endorsements. Our campaign was not hatched in the halls of Washington. It began in the backyards of Des Moines, in the living rooms of Concord, in the front porches of Charleston. We have made history. Yes, we have. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I tell you, the man for the hour has been chosen. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. oh, we're going to do an assembly because this morning. And, and I used to get ticket letters. She used to tell us the story about it. Uh, C. Dick. C. Dick. Well, I see you all write that book, too. Uh -huh. <laughs> Man. And as she would read every day, and never was going to sleep without reading that piece from front to back. Well, I tell you, I know, I know what I went through. I know that. They know if and no and. A lot of people died to pave this way for today. Oh, okay. Come on, everybody, people. Like, okay, yeah. This girl girl like. Don't worry about the girl. Right. <laughs> Don't be worried about the girl. Worry about Obama. That's right. Yeah. This people, this bullet oh, yeah. yeah. we won. We won. Look at this. Let me see if, if um, Charleston, if they, if they took Charleston. Right? You don't just run by the popular vote, you have to you run by, by the electoral, electoral college, and you have to have 270 votes. So the largest states have more electoral votes. So, um, Texas, Texas, Ohio. California, oh, we got Ohio, yeah. South, I mean, Florida, 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 New York. Yeah. New York. I was watching TV with my mama, and then I was dozing off, and she kept waking me up saying, pay attention. Mm -hmm. And then the last time I was going to sleep, I was real close to going to sleep, mm -hmm. and, then, and then she just yelled out, yeah, we won, we won. Good morning, students. Good morning, Mr. Tell the teachers good morning. Good morning, teachers. Good morning, teachers. This morning, obviously it's not Monday morning, but it's a morning that we should recognize because history was re was rewritten last night and we should be celebrating. Okay? Last night, who can tell what happened last night? Barack Obama won. Um, he won. The electoral vote, John McCain had won 68. And McC Barack Obama had 338, and Barack Obama won in the popularity of vote, too. So that's why he won. Popular of votes. Okay, Shania, go ahead. For social studies, we had to do a poster about Obama and McCain, and she said we could get extra credit on our test, and this was I did president until 2008 to 2012. And I have facts about Obama and McCain, a lot of facts. And I wanted to share with y'all that Obama had won and McCain tried his best to win. <laughs> <laughs> Who can tell me some facts about Barack Obama that they have learned so far? Give me some facts. And a fact is information that can be proven. Yes, sweetheart. Quickly, yes. Yes. Kenya, West Africa. Kenya, West Africa. Africa. East Africa. Um, Barack Obama got a, a law a law degree. So as his wife Michelle. Good. Oh. Both his wife and himself they have a law degree from which school? Harvard. 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 Yes. Listen up. Barack Obama has been elected as the president. He is not the president as yet. Not until January 20th when he will be sworn in. Okay? So he is the elected president. What does that mean, Kayla? Stand up, sweetheart, and speak up loud. It means he's not the official president yet. 
He's not the official president. Um, it makes me feel excited and happy because now we can finish with Martin Luther King started. I think of myself as a child, how I had to go to the back of the bus. I had to go to the back of the uh, doctor's office. I had to drink from the water fountain that says colored. And when I see how we have grown as a people, I am overjoyed. I am thankful to God. And I see that you, like I told the first graders this morning, it lets you know that you can be anybody, anything that you want to be, as long as you are focused and stay focused on what you want to do in life. I heard this saying, everybody knows who Rosa Parks is, right? Yes. Everybody knows who Martin Luther King is, right? Yes. Well, Rosa sat so Martin could walk. Martin walked so Obama could run. Obama is, was running so our children can fly. And as I look out over these children, I said to my kids this morning, you know, you can't choose who your parents are, but in a few years you'll be able to make changes. And Obama had some, some false starts in his life, mother, the father, but that didn't stop him. You're going to have to decide what you want to do. You're going to have to go beyond the obstacles in your life. No longer will you be able to say, I can't do this because I live on the project, or because I had a mama, and my mama didn't do this. My, that doesn't, that's, that's not acceptable anymore. Everybody has purpose in their life. I'm just, I'm just awestruck when I think about He was a little boy just like you, playing, and there was an assignment on his life chosen out of the millions of men in this America for such a time as this. I was looking at the TV and I thought about my grandfather and when I was small, I thought about him. He voted for the first time and I saw him when he went to the poll and voted for the first time. My mother saw her father go to the poll and vote for the first time. My mom saw me go to the poll and vote for the first time. And when I was looking there at that crowd last night, I saw all those young faces. And this morning I talked to the students in my class about that. All those young faces were there and they participated in this historical event. You're going to be one day, you're going to be participating in a historical event. What you saw last night was, and someone said, a serious student that studied well, that wanted to make a difference. Now nationally, they said he had the best organizational structure that they have ever seen. Do you know that he's ready to name his cabinet today? That takes organization. That's what we work so hard for here at CDA. Um, some people that's younger than me, some people that's older than me, the based on color of the skin because because Obama was black, but it wasn't the reason. It, it was based on the issues. It was based on how he would help us and how and how would he lower taxes. But some people just thought it was based on his skin color, but it wasn't really wasn't. <laughs> Barack Obama was born in Honolulu, Hawaii. Barack Obama is a Democrat. Michelle Obama will be our first lady. She's the president elect. And Barack Obama is our 44th president. He had graduated from o Occidental College and he also graduated from Columbia University and Harvard Law School. I know that Barack Obama has two daughters, Sasha, she is seven years old, and Maria, she is 10 years old. He taught constitutional law at Chicago Law School, at the University of Chicago Law School.
my name is mm -hmm. and DC. My daddy is from Kenya, so my name means survival plan. Like Barack Obama, his name means something, so my name means that. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. I found this book in my Barack Obama book, Yes, We Can, and here's, and this is the phrase that Barack Obama said. The road we have taken has not been easy, but then again, the road to change never is. Congratulations, If our children should live to see the next century, if my daughters should be so lucky to live as long as Ann Nixon Cooper, what change will they see? What progress will we have made? This is our chance to answer that call. This is our moment. 